it's very exciting to see everybody's glammed up looks. And if you're not dressed up, that's okay. You're going to tap into your inner animal. We've got lots of animal themed sections. So you'll get to really live it up tonight. You get to be a lot of different uh, creatures tonight. So don't hold back. <laughs> um, you can make a video larger by hovering over it and clicking the push pin. So if you want to see your instructor on a big screen instead of a tiny screen, you can do that. Go ahead and play around with it if you haven't found that feature yet. Um, and, um, if you need to get your instructor's attention fairly immediately, you can unmute, but please wait for a break in the instructor's uh, talking to do that. If you've unmuted yourself after you ask your question, um, please remute yourself. Otherwise, uh, default to the chat feature. Coaches, please check periodically at the chat feature. Oh, Marisa is a little kitty. Marisa, will you say hi so the YouTubers can see your cat too? Hello, everybody. This is my kitty, Loki. She's excited for Animal Instinct Day. <laughs> All right, so that being said, if you speak without uh, the mute on and you have your video playing, you will pop up on the screen and you will be featured on our YouTube video. So if your visual privacy is important to you and you unmute yourself, please be sure to block your video first. If you have any questions about that, go ahead and put it in the chat. I'll check that real quick. Gabe, thanks for wearing your animal print shirt. Um, I don't think I have much more to say other than um, tonight we start a new pool of donations for the coaches. So thank you all so much who have donated for the last couple of weeks. It's definitely been really nice for us coaches out of work to get a little something once a week. So we super duper appreciate any donations that come through. That being said, this is a free class and all are welcome and we're so happy to have you. Your presence is the most important thing. And I'm so excited to dive into Animal Instincts. So let's go ahead and start with coach introductions and also Thailand, just so you know, you'll be sending everyone on break. Janelle, you're first. I just pointed at the screen like you were going to see me point at you. <laughs> oh, sorry. I thought I was going to go last. My bad. Hi, you I'm start. Janelle. Um, I am a contortionist and aerialist. I'm based here in Denver. I'm so excited to see you all. I realize I have a leopard print scarf in my bedroom, so I'm going to go grab it shortly. Um, yay! <laughs> uh, and I'm going to be leading just our like cool down and stretch at the end. And am I passing to Thailand? You're passing to me. I'm passing to Staza. Sorry, my boxes are in a different order from your boxes, Cressy. This is meaningless. <laughs> um, I'm Staza. I'm super excited about tonight. I'm going to try to keep my tail on. It's super luxurious. It touches the ground, but I pinned it up for workout purposes, so hopefully it will stay. Um, I have been doing circus stuff for a little over six years, and I love fitness, and I love animals, and I'm, yeah, I'm just really happy to be here. Ah. <laughs> Hi, everybody. My name is Tylan. I primarily do um, partner acrobatics and hand balancing. And I would love to get into more circus arts, which is why it's so amazing to be surrounded by so many inspiring and amazing people like you all every day through Circus Workout Party. Again, thank you, Cressy. This platform is amazing. My section today is called Froggy Style. Uh, you do not need anything except for your body and a little bit of sass is required. So please bring those to my class and I can't wait to see you. Hello friends, I'm Marisa. I'm based in Boulder and I am an acrobat, hand balancer, circus artist, it's fun. <laughs> um, today I'm gonna be doing warm up and some mobility and balance cha challenges for you. Um, if you have them handy, grab a pair of socks and a shoe. Um, preferably not a shoe with a high heel. So if you got a sneaker laying around or a slipper or a cat or, you know, like a small book, any of these. But uh, yeah, a pair of socks and a shoe. And yes, we'll get started. I'll give you a minute to grab those. Let me just 
Check the time. Yeah, we are ready to roll. Um, so I'm gonna get started with a warm up. So find your space and stand on your feet. Oh, I forgot to introduce you my quarantine. I have Lyrica Lights and Loki the cat here. So we're all gonna get down and start to see. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna start with some jumping jacks. Start with some big jumping jacks. Jump. And make your jumping jacks a little bit faster and a little bit smaller. Nice. And arms straight up over your head. Just do some straight body hops. Very nice. Let's take it to high knees. Pump your arms, knees up high to your belly button. And let's do some butt kickers. I like to put my hands on my butt and try to kick my hands. <laughs> Doing the modified version. <laughs> nice. And hands out in front. Let's do some straight leg kicks. Very nice. All right, we're gonna do our football run. So hands out in front, bend your knees. Start moving your feet really fast. And you're gonna swing your arms back and forth. So my arms are gonna go back to the front, swing back to the front. Move your feet a little faster. And freeze. Very nice, good job. All right, we're going to do some body waves here. So for my body wave, I'm gonna start with circling my arms down and back. And I'm gonna dive forward towards my toes, bend my knees, unicorn horn points up to stand back up again. Dive to your forward fold, bend down low, unicorn horn up, reach back up. A few more times here. Big swoops, big arm circle up and around. One more dive down. And this time we're gonna make your way to a plank. Shoulders over your hands. Let's walk it out first. Knees into your belly button. Awesome. And then let's take it a little faster. Start to run it. If you want, you can bring your knees to your elbows. And a little faster. And let's slow it down. Send your hips back to a down dog. You can walk your dog here if you want to drop your heels one at a time and bend your knees. Nice job. Walk or jump your feet into your hands. And we're going to roll it all the way up. Just standing. Very nice. Okay. Hands out to the front. We're going to do some finger flicks here. For your finger flicks, you want to wrap your thumb around your fingers and really push through so it kind of makes a noise instead of talking hands. Good. And now let's do palms face up. For accordion fingers, you're going to do pinky fingers in and then curl your thumbs. And then uncurl your thumbs, fingers go out. Keep going back and forth. Stretch your fingers as wide as they can go when you open them. Nice. And close your hands in a fist, and we're going to circle it out. Nice. And circle the other direction. Good. And shake it out. And let's do some bounces here. Feet into the ground. If you feel like making a sound, feel good. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna do some arm circles. So we're gonna do one arm at a time. So you're gonna alternate one arm reaching back. Big circles behind you. And you can add some legs in here too for a big reach. If you wanna turn your head and see your hand go behind you, you can do that too. And change direction, let's go forward. So I'm still doing my side bend with my legs when I reach forward. Nice. And diagonal reach up. 
Should be a nice line between the top hand all the way down to your foot. And then reach to the other side. Diagonal reach, really make a long straight line. And find a rhythm here going back and forth. Reaching long. Beautiful. And then we're gonna take it to the side. So big sweep with the arms to the side. And then the other side. Good. We're gonna repeat all of those one more time through a little more fluidly. So let's go backwards. Keep the rhythm going with your leg bending. Change it to the front. Good. Keep the rhythm going to diagonal. Big long reach. And to the side. Big sweeping arms. Nice job, guys. Okay, shake it out. Whew. I am warm, especially with this box head on my head. <laughs> okay, we're gonna take it down low for the start of our challenges here. Let's go. Let's take one leg bent and one leg straight. You need to take a second to stretch it out. I like to flex and point my foot of the straight leg. All right, so here's your challenge numero uno. You're going to try to sit on your bum very softly, and then you're going to try to come back up to standing. It's a big hip opener and some ankle mobility. If you need to use your hands, you can use your hands for support in either direction. And we're really trying to make this ooey gooey so we're not clumping down to the ground. Trying to roll nice and slowly down. Push back up to your foot. Great. All right, take it over to the other side. Walk it over. Take a second to stretch that out if you want to flex and point your foot over here. All right, and when you're ready, same thing on this side. So I'm gonna nice and easy, try to sit down controlled and lean forward, push down into your foot to try to come back up. Kind of leading with my shoulders to come up so my shoulders go forward, pushing down through my foot. Again, if you need to use your hands for support, that's totally fine. Do what feels good for you. One more. And bring it back to the other side. Very nice. Okay, next one. This one's gonna be with knees together. So I'll show you what it looks like first. I'm gonna start kneeling. I'm gonna flex my feet. And I'm going to try to lift my knees off the floor. And again, trying to sit back really softly on my butt. And I'm gonna to try to come back through to standing. So there's a couple ways you can do this. If you want to roll, you can roll back. And that gives us a little momentum to come forward, back to your knees. Um, if you want to do it without momentum, it's a little trickier. Your knees would come apart and you're trying to send your shoulders forward with no hands. Um, again, if you need to use your hands for support, please do so. The most challenging one, which I have yet to do myself, is knees together the whole time. I have yet to get my butt up with these together. So let's do a few of these. Wherever you are, we're going to start in a squat. We're going to go nice and slow down to our booties. And then in whatever method is good for you, come back up to your squat. Gently touch your knees to the floor so it doesn't make any noise. And back again. If you need your hands for support, you can push yourself off the floor. <laughs> nice, one more time. Back and forth. Don't do no hands. Yeah. Good job. All right. Enough of that one. We're gonna take it to our feet next. So, if you don't have them already, put your socks on, your feet, for our sock challenge. <laughs> so, some of you, for some of you, this might be pretty easy. So, I invite you to do it with your eyes closed. It'll make the balance part a little more challenging. But we're basically gonna be taking off our sock, one foot at a time. Passing it back and forth. I'll just do a little demo here. So standing on one foot, I'm going to take off my sock. Trying not to use anything else. If you need something nearby, like a chair or a couch to help you, do that. But this is without hands is your goal. We're going to pass it back and forth. So I'm going to hold my hands out to the side. 
I'm going to reach and grab the sock with my toes. And I'm going to pass the sock to my other hand. <sighs> in the dream world, your hands stay perfectly level and you just lift your leg. But if you need to make some adjustments to transfer, that's totally fine. So decide which foot you're going to start on. Go ahead, remove your sock. I have already done that. Once you have removed your sock, let's go arms out to the side. And go ahead and lift your foot. Grab your sock with your toes. Transfer the sock to the other hand. And grab it. Nice. And then let's reverse it. So now take the sock in that foot again. Try to stay nice and steady on your foot and transfer it to the other side. Beautiful. Again, if you need more of a challenge, eyes closed. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go. One hand to the front, one hand to the back. So still on the same foot. Reach your foot in front. Grab the sock with your toes. And bring your foot behind you to try to transfer it to your back hand. Aha, uh -huh. nice job. And then reverse it. Reach back, get it with your toes, and bring it back to the front. Beautiful. Hands down. This one for me is the trickiest one because my lotus or figure four isn't all that great. But <laughs> ideally, you're going to, hands down, reach your foot. <laughs> Get it. I'm going to cheat and go like this. And then I'm going to transfer that foot and sock to the other hand. And then reverse it. Hands stay down low. Try not to adjust your body, but if you need to, <laughs> uh -huh. grab it. Nice. Beautiful. Oop, don't fall over. Okay, put that sock back on your foot. Ta-da! Well done. Your new socks could be so sweaty. Okay, we're going to do the other side. Brace yourself. Again, if you need eyes closed, do eyes closed. Here we go. Other side. Remove that sock. Okay, arms out to the side. T arms. Go ahead, take your foot, grab the sock with your toes. Bring it to the other side. Beautiful. And then reverse. Take it from one hand, change direction. Yay, well done. So I bring the other hand in front, other hand in back. Here we go. Lift your foot up in front. Transfer sock to back hand. Beautiful. And reverse. This side's a little trickier for me. Nice. And last one, hands are gonna go down by your side. And then sock to toes. Transfer to the side. Come on, figure four. Nice, and reverse. And bring it back. Don't touch the floor yet. Put your sock back on your foot. Ta-da! You did it. Nice job. <laughs> All right, we got just a few more minutes left. I got one more challenge for you. We're gonna practice some teacup hands. So some of you guys might have done this for shoulder mobility. So we're gonna start with one hand out to the side. I'm, and I'm imagining I'm holding a teacup and my hand's gonna come in towards my belly button and through this space. And it's gonna come up and around over my head back to where I started. So go ahead and try that if you haven't already. Hold your teacup, bring it in towards your belly button. Try not to drop your teacup. Bring it up over your head and very nice. And reverse it, starting from out here, we're gonna bring it up and around our head, swoop it around. Don't drop your teacup back to center. Beautiful, take that shoe if you've got it handy. Put it on your hands. Okay, no cheating, no grabbing onto your shoe. Fingers either together or wide, but no gripping. Now you've got an actual teacup shoe in your hand. Here we go. Bring it into your belly button. Making it more challenging by trying not to move your torso very much, but if you need to, please do. Bring it around. Whoop. Make space for your shoe cup. Beautiful. Change direction. Ooh. Back up to the top. Okay. 
challenge time. <laughs> We're gonna do it in a three-legged dog. So you can either do it with your hand on the floor, three-legged dog. If you need, you can adjust and go to your forearm if that's not happy for your wrist. But it's the same concept. Hands down, booties up. Here we go, teak up with your shoe. Bring it in towards your belly. And up all the way around, big opener around your head and your butt. Nice. Try not to drop your shoe, try not to grip it. Awesome, change direction. Swoop it big and high around your head. Nice. Back, down, awesome. Real quick on the other side, stand back up. Switch, other side, here we go. Again, if you wanna make it even more challenging, you can speed it up a little bit. So if it feels pretty easy, nice and controlled, you can speed it. Ooh, I got stuck here. Speed it up, make it a little faster, and try not to move your shoulders. Good. And other side. Other direction, if you haven't done it already. Ooh. Nice. All right, we're gonna take it down low to the ground to your three-legged dog. Again, either on your hand or your forearm. Teacups, here we go. Ooh, this side's not as great as the other one. And around, big swoop up around your head. Bring it in towards your body. And then change direction. Ooh, I'm starting to cheat a little by holding it with my fingers. Naughty. One more time, big swoop up and around. Ah. Ta -da! Everybody stand up, present your shoe, and take a bow. Yay, stupid human tricks, woohoo! All right, guys, I'm gonna pass it off to Tylen, who's gonna do froggy style. Good job, guys. Thank you, Marisa, that was fun, and I loved watching your little helper in the background. That was amazing. All right, let me figure out, I gotta get back to gallery view. Okay, there's everybody, hello! All right, today we are doing froggy style. So we have five exercises we are going to do. We're gonna do them slightly Tabata style. So we're gonna do 30 seconds on, maybe not exactly 10 seconds off, Tabata-ish. So I will go ahead and get the camera set up. The only thing that you would need if you want it is a mat, but your floor is just fine. We'll be spending a lot of time down there. Can everybody hear me okay? Yeah, awesome. All right. So the very first thing we're doing is called froggy squats. I went, I really committed to the theme today. Everything is froggy. So really hone in your froggy. If you're a cat, you're gonna be a frog for the next about 15 minutes. Let me get my timer started. You guys, can you believe the weather outside? Is anyone else just like dying inside their house because I wasn't prepared for how warm it was? Also maybe slightly out of shape with the quarantine thing. That could just be me. All right, go ahead and wide legs like a froggy. We're gonna really drive those heels down into the ground, push our pelvis under. Knees are going to go out to the side. Don't let them drag too far in. Heels go down. We're going to bring our hands to a prayer position, pretending like there is a bar right here that you're not allowed to push forward and back. Keep that bar there and bend over it and back up. Over and back up. Once that feels good to you, we're going to do a little more sass in the ass, which means we're gonna bring our legs down, scoot the booty up, butt down, scoot it up. Good. Keep driving those heels down. Go at whatever pace feels good to you. If this is not feeling great to maybe your lower back or your inner thighs, just go ahead and stick with your back going towards the ground and back up. Try not to let it arch or round too much. Keep it as straight as possible. And take a break. 10 seconds, 15. We're doing Tabata-ish today. 
and catching our breath. I really need to get my air conditioning working again. Ooh. Okay, all right, back to it. Wide legs. Pelvic under, hands together, heels driving towards the ground, and put that booty up to the sky as we drop our chest, and bring it back under as our shoulders raise back. We're here for just 20 more seconds, everybody. Wonderful, wonderful. Whichever way you decided to go, just stick with it. We got another 10. Awesome job and relax. We're gonna make our way down to the floor. If you have a mat, go ahead and lay on that. I think I'm going to stick with carpet for the day. All right. Is my sweat helping my glitter shine? <laughs> All right, so next is our lying frog kicks. So if everyone could watch first and do second, we're laying down, thinking of hollow body, so about here, but we're gonna turn our knees out to the side and bring the heels of our feet together, like they're glued from our toes down to our heels. Keeping our belly tucked down, belly button towards the floor. Get rid of that space in your lower back. Your hands can be wherever you want. I'm gonna put them out to the side. You can put them behind your head, put them under your butt. Out to the side is what I'm doing. So we're gonna bring our heels towards our crutch, knees really, really wide, and then push out. Try and keep your heels connected and bring them back in. The whole time we're squeezing our inner thighs as much as possible. Woo! Squeeze that butt when you kick out and bring it back in. All right, keep going. Make sure that belly stays sucked in, down towards the ground. Kick your froggy legs out. Awesome, another 10 seconds, guys, let's do it. And relax, nicely done. Woo, shake it out, move around. Good job. All right, we got five seconds, get back down on the ground. Hands out to the side, behind your head or under your butt. Feet together. And kick out from your diamond straight in front of you. Try and let those feet hover above the ground. The lower you can get them, the more work you'll do. About six feet above the ground or more is great. If you're kicking up to the sky, that's awesome too. You just wanna be squeezing whole time as much as you can. Squeeze your butt at the very outside of the kick. Squeeze your inner thighs when you come in. Butt on the kick. Thighs on the diamond, perfect. So good. And relax, shake it off. Good job. All right, next we're gonna be on our wrists. So let's just do a very small wrist activation. I want everyone to come, uh, move you back down here. Everybody come into their tabletop position. All right, feet on the feet. <laughs> Your arm feet on the floor. Fingers spread really wide. The palms of our hands right beneath our shoulders and just do the little half circles, forward and back. Around to the left, forward, around to the right. Good, let's go forward and back into a planche position and relax. So we're trying to get our shoulders over our fingertips when we're going forward. All right, let's flip those hands upside down, palms to the sky for some palmar flexion. Again, rock forward and back. 
put some sass into it or maybe some ass into it, whatever you want. Beautiful. Who is that? Kaylin, you just look so fantastic in that onesie. <laughs> All right, bring our hands back down, um, palms down. First knuckle push ups. So we're going to go up onto our fingers, lift those palms off, slowly go back down to the ground to have full contact. Back up onto our fingers, slowly back down. All you little kitty cats and lemurs and foxes, you look so good. And the muggles too. All the muggles look good. Fabulous. Okay, shake it out just a little bit. We are going to assume a plank position. Hi, plank. Make sure that booty is squeezed. Pelvic bones are tucked under. And we are doing some frog legs. So we're bringing those knees way out to the side. Touch our elbow and bring, bring them back. Knee out to the side, touch the elbow, bring it back. All right, 30 seconds, go. Make contact. That knee wants to kiss your elbow. Extra super bonus points for pointed toes. Extra super triple bonus points if you can maintain wide fingers and a pull the rug in stance with our finger pads for a handstand position. Oh my gosh, it's so hot in here. Okay. Okay, I'm calling it 30 seconds. Nice, shake out those wrists a little bit more. Jeff, I like your balance board. That looks sweet. I feel like I saw that in one of those, uh, the, the TV commercials where they sell a bunch of things. There's a name for that. I can't think of what it is. If you know what I'm talking about, put it in the chat and help remind me. Okay, back to plank. As seen on TV. There's like a store for it in my mall. Okay, 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 back to plank. Legs up, froggy style. Up, up, up. Remember, try and keep those hands in handstand position, which is a good reminder for myself because plank is hard and so I've gone wide, wide arms. Bring it back. Good form. Affirmations, talk to yourself, tell yourself you're doing great. You're doing great, Tylen. Your froggy point is on style. Oh, froggy point on style. That was wrong. Did anyone catch that? Should have been froggy style on point. <laughs> All right, nice job. Shake it out a little bit. Shake your legs out. So good. Next, we are moving on to frog leg lifts. We are going to face belly down, have our knees wide out to the side, our feet touching, just like we did in our lying frog kicks. We're gonna lift our thighs off the ground. So it will look something like this. Nice little, these positions are great. <laughs> Laying belly down, feet touching like we're gonna clap our feet in a diamond position, your head can rest on your forehead if you want. It can look forward with your chin up, whatever is comfortable. I'm gonna look at the screen. Please do what feels good to you. All right, so as our legs are touching, we are going to lift with our booty and get our knees and our thighs off the ground and then bring it back down. This will destroy your butt. I have a tiny butt and we're all gonna grow our butt together. Here we go. 30 seconds and glutify. Lift and squeeze. <laughs> Cressy, you're doing great. I see you. I believe in you. Meanwhile, Jeff is like, this is easy. Whatever. I do this all the time. Good. We're halfway there. Yes, Anastasia. You're killing it. Okay. Five more seconds, hold it, hold it, squeeze everything, and melt into the floor. Oh. Okay, how's everyone's day going? You all look beautiful. Good, Marisa. All right, here we go, second round. Glue those legs together. No, those aren't legs, those are feet. 
Good, arms down, head wherever you want it, and lift. <laughs> this is what sets us apart. Yes. You guys, I can feel the sweat dripping down my forehead. It's in like the crease of my eye, but I'm a winner, so I'm not gonna wipe it away. I'm just gonna let it cloud up my vision. Awesome job, halfway there. All right, bonus round. We have 10 seconds left. Hold it up if you can, otherwise keep going. Squeeze, feel your glutes on fire. Five seconds left, lift them even higher. Even higher. Oh, relax, so good. Yeah, amazing. I am gonna wipe the sweat now because I feel like that's just hindering my vision. Oh, oh my gosh. I feel like you can all tell how like out of shape I feel right now. <laughs> and it's just hot. Somebody bring me a fan, please. All right, last thing, frog bridge. I think it's technically called butterfly bridge, but this isn't butterfly style. This is froggy style. So get on your back, get those knees nice and wide again. Feet touching, you guessed it. Hands can go down by your side or underneath your butt or out to the side. And we are going to lift our hips up to the sky, try and touch our area to the ceiling and really feel that squeeze in your booty at the top. Here we go. And begin. Hold, hold it at the top for just a moment. Keep those knees wide. Hands can push down into the ground. You might feel your hamstrings start to work. That is a-okay. If they are working, maybe try and drop your knees out to the side a little bit wider. Good. You are here for just 15 more seconds. Lift that butt, lift that butt. All right, hold it. Keep it at the top. Push those heels into the ground and melt. All right, I need to shake out my legs a little bit. I think I was working my hammies too much, which means my knees need to go out to the side even more. You can bring your knees in for a little, a little hug, a little hello. Thank you for all the things you do for me. Just ah, breathe. All right, everybody, we are on our last round before we go on a break. We've got this, we can do this. I see you all. If you're on video, I also see you, Jasmine, and Ms. Robin Melvin, and D A C C twenty one sixty three something like that. Let's go. Let's do this. On our backs, heels together, hands to the side, and lift. Pump, pump, pump it up. Pump up the jams. Do 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 do. Oh. So I've been thinking of like class names, going through some of the themes that we're doing, and I've got so many songs stuck in my head that don't have anything to do with classes, but they're, they're inspiring. All right, keep going. Hips to the sky and hold, hold, hold. Try and keep it for 10 seconds. Squeeze your butt. Hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop it down. Everyone did amazing. Thank you so much for joining me and my lily pad for Faragi style today. We're gonna take about a five minute break before we come back and get some water, use the bathroom, pee. cressy has got something to say, so don't go away quite yet. You have one minute max for this break because we are running short on time. So you get one minute if you need to use the bathroom, but come back quick. One minute, not five. <laughs> Like a race cap. You have a whole minute to do that, Saza. I'm gonna throw the um, donation screen up for anyone who wants that info. Go pee.
Okie dokie. So if we go a couple minutes over, I think you guys can probably stick it out unless you're like running off to go somewhere, which you really shouldn't be doing. So I hope you all stick around. I saw that, Jeff. That was not nice. <laughs> Staza, are you ready? I am ready. Yay. Okay. So I might be dressed like a cat, but the name of this section is monkeying around. So we're gonna start with our tree jumps, more commonly known as burpees with a push up. Yes. So if you don't know what that looks like, we are going to jump straight up, come on down, go to a plank, do a push up, come back up and repeat. Yeah? We're gonna do 10 of them. Do what you can, jump from tree to tree. You're a beautiful monkey in the jungle and you have to pump up those legs, okay? Let's do it. If you weren't sweating before, hopefully you'll be sweating by the end of these. My tail keeps going in between my legs. <laughs> Some jungle, some self jungle love. This is six for me. Only two more. You can do it. And ten. Nice job. Great job, you guys. Okay, what we're gonna do next are staggered arm push-ups, AKA our fruit grabbers. So we're getting the fruit from the trace. <laughs> okay, the position for this is like so. My one hand is here, underneath my shoulder in a tricep push-up position. Other hand is here. So it's kind of like I'm almost trying to touch my forehead to my hand. Adjust if needed. We're gonna be in a push-up position, and then I'm gonna lower and push back up. So my arms are staggered. I'm grabbing different fruit from different parts of the tree. All right, make sense? Let's get into a position. One arm back, one arm forward. Yes, we're gonna do five on each side. Five, and switch. Always feel free to do these on your knees or whatever you need to do. And five. Nice, you guys. Okay. We're gonna do something super similar to the little froggy legs, except we're gonna do a push-up with them. So these are our spider monkey push-ups. As we go down into our push-up, we're gonna bring a knee up to touch, boop, and then back. We're gonna do five each side, you can alternate, okay? Whenever you're ready, you'll do it. Push up, bring that leg back. Really think about trying to make contact with the knee, with the elbow. You guys, I'm sure we're doing great. I can't really look, but I believe in you. I can't talk because I'm focused. And 10. Nice. Everybody pound on your chest. You are a gorilla and you are proud of yourself. Yes. This serves no purpose except for fun. <laughs> okay. We're going to move on to some triceps. We are going to do our banana squish, which is a lot like a Hershey Kiss squish except with bananas. We're gonna make a little triangle with our hands. This is where I'm putting my banana. I'm gonna put that banana on the ground in front of me. I'm gonna go up into a down dog position and I'm gonna lower down, trying to squish that banana with my forehead. So my triceps are bending. Legs are staying straight and hips are staying up. The more you bring your hips over your shoulders, the more this will burn in your triceps. Okay, we're gonna do 10. Squish that banana. 
Let's do it. You want to make a banana split. You're going to work so hard. You're going to earn this banana. One more. And 10. Nice job. I am going to tip this down a little bit. We're going to do our coconut crackers. Yes, aka tricep dips. We're gonna come onto our backs. Hands are gonna face us. Gonna come up in this flat tabletop position. And we're gonna come down using our arms, our triceps, trying to crack that coconut with my booty. So as I lower my butt with my arms, I'm cracking the coconut. We're gonna do 10 of these. So you are gonna have so many freaking coconuts. They're gonna have a coconut party. You're gonna be able to make all kinds of clothing. Fashion statement in the jungle. Nice job, you guys. Last one. Whew. Awesome. Okay. Next thing. So I know later we're gonna be lemurs, but those are gonna be super relaxed. This is called a lounging lemur, but the lemur's working a little bit harder. I'm going to come to my side. I'm going to take my top hand, put it out in front of me. Bottom hand's going to come and wrap around my body. Then I'm going to use this hand to push up and lower down. So it's like single arm, side, tricep, push-ups. We're going to do five each side. So get in your sexy lounging lemur position. And then we're going to do five of these. So like pushing up. Yeah. I find these to be incredibly difficult. Personally, you all look like you're killing it, though. Oh, one more, one more. Nice. Flip those long lemur legs around to do the other side. Same thing, sexy lemur. You're gonna hold yourself because you love yourself. Hand goes out in front, and we're gonna do five of the push-ups. Yes. Nice, you guys. One more, and five. Awesome. Whew. Okay, we're gonna leave those lats, or those triceps alone. We're gonna move to our lats, because it takes all these parts to climb the trees and swing on the vines. First thing we're gonna do are supine push-ups. So I'm gonna lay on my back. My arms are gonna be like so. I'm gonna squeeze my arms together. I'm also calling these the fruit juicers. Because I'm thinking about juicing a grapefruit between my shoulder blades to raise my shoulders up. So this is the motion I'm doing, but it's on the ground. Shpoop, shpoop. As I squeeze in, I rise and I lower back down. We're gonna do 10 of these. So you're gonna have a brunch tomorrow and you wanna make sure that you have enough juice for all of your jungle friends to have mimosas because yes, even jungle animals enjoy mimosa, or so I hear. Nice, we're halfway there. Really squeezing at the top. You're really trying to get every last drop out of these fruits. You just grabbed them earlier. You know how much work that was. Two more, and 10. Nice, okay. Next one, we're gonna roll into our stomachs to do a variation of Superman that I'm gonna call the Flying Monkey. So, Superman you might have seen, like so. We're gonna do it with our arms back. As I have my arms back, I'm gonna rotate my shoulders, so my hands are at my side, rotate palms to the ground to lift my torso. I'm gonna lift my legs at the same time, but they're squeezed together. So I'm here, rotate, lift lower. Rotate, lift, and lower. Yes? So come on, meet me on the ground. We are going to do 10 of these. Really thinking about that squeeze at the top. You're going to make it to that other tree. You're leaping as hard as you can, shooting like a dart through space. Okay, let's do it. You can go at your own pace or just do as many until I'm like, I'm done. Nice job. We're 
really think about squeezing the top. You're lifting those legs. Your whole body is squeezing and engaging. You guys look fantastic. And one more. Nice, nice. Squeeze with this one. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Okay. Yes. You all flew with the greatest of ease. Okay. One last thing for lats we're going to do. We did this last week, so I apologize in advance for any carpet burn potential. We're going to do shoulder shrugs, but on the ground. So my shoulder shrug is like so. Shrugging up. I'm lowering down, pulling my head out of its little turtle shell, looking up over the tree branch, little monkey, and pushing my lats down my spine. My palms are facing forward. We're gonna do these on the ground, using the floor as resistance. So I'm gonna be face down on the ground, hands above my head, and I'm gonna think about pulling down. Maybe your body moves, maybe your hands move, but the traction, you want to feel that pull and then relax. Does that make sense to everyone? Yeah? Okay, cool. Let's do, we're going to do five of these really like nice and slow. So take like four counts to go down and then release. So ready? Look up over the branch. You're trying to see, oh, is your family back? And release. Next one. Peering out, making sure the coast is clear. We jump to that next tree and release. And engage. Maybe this time you're trying to climb up even higher, trying to look over both those branches and release. Re engage. Really thinking about pulling those muscles down your back. Hopefully, you feel this all the way down. For me, this is a huge engager. Last one. Try not to get carpet burn either. And release. Woo, okay. Awesome job, you guys. We're gonna move on to our arms. So you can get into whatever position is comfortable. I'm just gonna sit on the floor and wipe my sweat away. We're gonna do arms out. We're gonna do little tiny circles forward. We're gonna do this for 30 seconds. Ready? And begin. Really small. I call these the fly swatter. So you're just trying to, these flies are super annoying, trying to bat them out of your way. They're buzzing all around. You are in the jungle after all. There's a lot of bugs. Nice and tight, nice and tiny. You can go as fast as you want. I like to try to see how fast I can go. We have 10 more seconds. Yes, swat those flies away. And then we are going to reverse direction. So now I'm swatting backwards. Maybe you're also trying to achieve liftoff. Maybe you are one of the bugs in the jungle. Maybe that's your animal. And you're just trying to fly away from all of the monkeys swatting at you. Yes, you guys. You can vary your circle so you can make them bigger, tinier, if you're getting bored. Whatever floats your boat as long as they're moving. Yes, yes. Ready, and release. Okay, one last thing are gonna be monkey punches. Let's stand up, do, 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 shroop. And we're just gonna do cross body punches as quick as we can. We're gonna do 30 total, so it'll be 15 each arm. So there's a monkey, and he has your banana, and that's not cool, you're gonna get him. Yes, nice. If you've ever taken a kickboxing class, they, this might look familiar, but for this exercise, we are fighting monkeys. We are ready to battle to the end for our fruits that we've worked so hard on. Really engaging that arm, making these nice, strong punches. You're trying to punch through a tree trunk. And I lost count, so let's do a couple more. Really make this one count. This is your last final punch. Boom! Yes! Thanks for monkeying around with me, you guys. I'm gonna pass you on over to Janelle for a relaxed monkey. So it's perfect. <laughs> Yay! Hi, everybody. This is Janelle. Uh, hopefully, you can all see me now. 
we are going to be relaxed monkeys. Uh, so we all got warm and got our muscles all engaged and nice and like tight. And now we want to lengthen all of them back out so that we can gain flexibility. And so that, <laughs> thank you, Cressy. Yes, lemurs, which are not monkeys, but they act like them. So it's close to go. <laughs> um, yeah, we're gonna gain a little bit of flexibility and we're gonna keep ourselves from being quite so sore tomorrow after all of the work that we did today. So we're gonna start standing. Go ahead and stand on up. We're gonna get a nice big side stretch. And if you need an animal analogy to think about, you're gonna reach one hand up and this hand, you might not be able to see my hand. The top hand is your giraffe mouth. So you're a giraffe that wants to eat a tree. You're gonna reach as high up as you can with your giraffe mouth and keep reaching the trees a little bit higher, keep reaching and then keep reaching till you have nowhere to go but up and over to the side. And if you wanna make a little mouse with your hand to keep yourself entertained, you can do that. And then reach along with your giraffe mouth, keep reaching up, 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 up. Finally, you get your leaves at the top and then come on down, good. And take your other side giraffe mouth. Reach up for those leaves, they're really far away. Keep reaching, keep reaching. Reach all the way up until you have nowhere to go but sideways. Maybe there's a bush down here or something that you can get. And then reach all the way up. Reach, reach, reach at the top and finally you get those leaves. And then come on back down. Beautiful, nice job. Next thing that we're going to do, this one's for Staza. This is a raccoon cleaning its food in the river. So <laughs> you're gonna stand with your legs wide. Your river is running through between your legs. You're gonna reach down and you're gonna wash your food, keeping your legs as straight as possible, sticking your booty up towards the air, trying to get as low to the ground here as you can. And then you're gonna bend your knees, tuck your tail and roll all the way up. And then one more time, we're gonna roll down. Our food is really heavy and it's dragging us down, keeping the legs straight all the way down to the very bottom and then you can wash your food again. And then tuck your tail, roll all the way back up. Good, and shake it out. Nice. Next one is slightly orangutan themed. You know how orangutan's arms are just like incredibly long as their like armpits come out to here? So we're gonna make our arms incredibly long and make our armpits come out to here. Reaching straight up with both arms, bend one elbow, reach across and grab. This arm, the one that's bent, is gonna pull this way. This arm is gonna pull this way. We're getting a nice tricep resistance stretch, especially after all those push-up variations that Staza gave us. And then open the armpits up to the side, like big orangutan armpits. Beautiful. And then come back to center and reach up and scratch your armpits just for the heck of it. Okay, great. And then same thing other side. <laughs> nice resistance stretch for the tricep here. And open that armpit up to the side if you like. Beautiful, beautiful. And then come on out of there. We're gonna do a couple things for our legs and then finally for our back. So for our legs, I can't really explain why, but when I was thinking of what animal this one would be, it seemed like an anteater to me, so it's an anteater. We're gonna imagine that there are ants in between our legs. And so we're gonna round down with our face and try to slurp up all the ants and reach long and arch up. And then once again, round forward, slurp up the ants. We're gonna do five of these on your own time. Good. Round forward, slurp, and up. Good, three more. Well, you probably have four more. I did some examples. When you've done five, surprise, surprise, we're gonna do reverse anteaters. I don't know what animal is a reverse anteater, so we'll pretend it's an echidna. There's no reason why it's an echidna, that's fine. So we're gonna start long, arching down. I really enjoy watching Stasa crack up. 
and then round up. Good. Again, arching down and rounding back up. Three more. Beautiful. Guys, a real animal is gracing us with her presence. This is Maya the cat. She's good at stretching. Okay, we've got just a couple more, uh, and I know that we're running a little bit short on time, so we're gonna be kind of quick. We're gonna do our hedgehog rolls. So you're gonna start in a nice seated position. Make sure there's nothing behind you that you're gonna hit your head on. You're gonna bring your knees up into your chest, squeeze them as tight as you can like a hedgehog, point your little toes, and then roll back. And up and try to balance, and back. Do 10 of these. If you want an extra challenge, you can let go with your hands, keep your arms alongside your sides, and try to use your abs to keep your thighs and your belly in contact. Cool. Good job. Thinking hedgehoggy thoughts. I think all I think about is eating earthworms and like looking cute with flowers. And when you have done 10 hedgehogs, the last thing we're gonna do is totally stolen from yoga and it already has an animal name. It's our puppy pose. We're gonna stretch out our shoulders and upper back. So you're gonna start on all fours, walk your hands forward or your legs back, whatever you've got space for. You're gonna push the arms long, armpits toward the floor, sticking your booty up in the air like a puppy saying, I wanna play. Putting your chest and or your chin on or near the floor. Reaching along with the arms. If you want a little extra stretch, you can tense the hands here so that the fingers are pressing down and the palms are lifted up so you get a little extra height for those armpits. If you want to shake your booty side to side, stretching your different armpits slightly differently from each other, you can do that. And then come on out of there, dragging long all the way up. Let me see if we have time for anything else. The likelihood is slim. Oh yeah, we done. We done exactly on time. Good work, team. Thank you all so, so much. Um, this was really fun. I liked coming up with the animals. I really appreciate all of your hard work, um, all of your just like support by being here and by being part of this community. Super, super wonderful. Thank you so much. That was so much fun. Thank you guys. And thank you, Cressy, as always, for hurting the literal cats this week, because we so many of us chose to be cats, but hurting all of the animals. And I love you all. And that's it. <laughs> thank you all for sticking with my froggy style today today was so much fun and seeing everyone like commit to the theme on zoom is amazing <laughs> i love thinking about all of us like in our rooms or our living rooms our spaces just all dressed up and it was amazing thank you so much i can't wait to see you guys next time great job today guys it was lovely to see all your faces and so fun to get silly and playful with you all. So sending you guys a lot of love and thank you, Chrissy, for making all this magical thing happen. Yay, can um, we do a virtual high five for the amazing coaches that are on this platform? I am absolutely blown away by the creativity and knowledge and commitment that all of these coaches have had throughout this entire process. And it's a really, really special thing that we get to experience this together. I had no idea that this was gonna be what it's become and I just feel so blessed. And these people right here are incredible. Every single coach we've had has blown my mind. With their kindness, enthusiasm, courage, all of it. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for dressing up.